Yo guys, what is going on? So today, I am going to be talking to you about these little things. This is a Shishido pepper, and they are amazing. They've become one of those things that every time I go to the grocery store, I end up buying another bag of them because they are just so good to have on hand. Whether you're having company over, or you just need another side for dinner, or you just want a late night snack, these things are quick and easy and delicious. And probably the most fun thing about them, one in 10 of them are hot. So you have a little game of low stakes Russian roulette going while you're eating them with your family at dinner, and whoever gets the hot one usually has a pretty funny reaction to it. So without further ado, let's get started on these things. They are awesome. All right, so I have this pan here on medium high heat and I just put my hand up to it to make sure that it's hot. And then I just put in some vegetable oil here. Vegetable oil isn't the most flavorful, but it will give us a higher smoke point so that these peppers can get nice and blistered. So I put about a handful of them in and then in the background here, I start peeling and chopping garlic nice and fine. We're not gonna add this in right away because the garlic would burn, but we're gonna put that in later. Now, as you start seeing some brownness on the bottom of these peppers, give them a good stir with a scraper that's not gonna damage your pan. And the key here is to get blisters all around these things. You can even give them little tosses like this right up in the air. Ooh, fancy, nice. I'm getting higher and higher and my confidence is rising and boom, peppers everywhere. Donkey! Side note here, thank you to the subscriber that recommended this early wood scraper. It has been amazing. I got the set of them and I can just jostle around things in my pan without having to worry about scratching it. So once the peppers are about done, about 30 seconds away, you're gonna add in that garlic you chopped up earlier and a nice drizzle of really good olive oil. This is just an organic extra virgin one I used. And this is only gonna be in the pan for a very short amount of time. You don't want this garlic to burn or the oil to burn. So just give it a good toss to make sure the peppers are all coated and then take them off the heat. Now, bring out whatever you're gonna plate on. I'm using this little graphite slab here and I rub some oil on it here just so that the entire thing is that nice dark black color with a good shine to it. But you can also use a cutting board, nice plate, whatever you want. So these things are so simple that you kind of need a nice plate to make them stand out. So basically from there, I just add these things one by one trying to make it somewhat not sloppy, but that's not in my nature. So I'm going to have to straighten this out later. Now, once these are all added to this plate, I take the pan and I make sure to get all of that nice garlic and oil out and on top of these peppers. They're going to be one of the main sources of flavor in this little appetizer. So it's good to get them all out of the pan and not be wasteful here. And once they are all out and in an order that you like, I top them with some finely cracked black pepper and also some really flaky sea salt. Because this is such a simple dish, you need to make the quality ingredients shine and by using good salt and pepper and not the regular stuff, it's gonna make this thing a lot better. So that's it guys, quick and easy dish that everybody's gonna love. These are like edamames with a kick. Um, I think everybody in your family and your friends are gonna be really impressed when you pull these ones out to the table. So enjoy them, love them, let me know what you think down below and until the next video, keep living an awesome life and taking care of yourself.